Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. COVID-19 workplace guidelines. Life has no limitation except the ones you make. Learning objective, introduction, mode of transmission, variants of COVID-19, symptoms, diagnosis, key principle of COVID-19 health safety, uh, risk assessment, uh, matrix and hierarchy of control. Learning of uh, outcome. By the end of this presentation, participants will be able to describe the introduction. Um, introduction, mode of transmission, variant of COVID-19, symptoms, diagnosis, COVID-19 and workplace, key principle of health and safety. Introduction, it is a single stranded positive sense RNA virus. It is invalid virus, large size virus particle, incubation periods about five days, notic virus and pandemic. COVID-19 structure, it is nucleocapsid protein, which has spike protein and valid protein and glycoprotein. Mode of transmission. Mode of transmission is person to person between people who are in close contact with one another through respiratory droplets produced when infected person cough or sneeze. It may also be possible that person can get COVID by touching surface that has virus and then touching their mouth, nose and eye, but there's no documentation that COVID-19 spread through food. One mutation in COVID-19. Like all other virus, SARS-CoV-2 has been mutating thin it emerged in late 19. Mutation is actually changes in genetic code in a virus spike protein. Variants of concern is alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. Variants are named according to alphabetical, alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Omicron, it is recently uh, various, uh, Omicron, it is a vari uh, variant of concern and recently uh, is identified in, from multiple countries in November 24, 2021. What is SARS-CoV variant of interest? It, this is actually the genetic change that are predicted or known to affect various virus characteristics such as transmissibility, disease severity, immune escape, diagnostic or therapeutic escape. That has been identified as causing significant community uh, transmission. Uh, uh, SARS-CoV uh, variant of concern is actually uh, that meet the definition of area of interest in addition to increase in transmissibility of COVID-19, increase in virulence, and decrease in effectiveness of public health and social measures or available diagnostic. Variant, various variant of interest is uh, B, uh, B117, B135, P1, Indian uh, outbreak, which is a uh, Delta variant, uh, Omicron. Uh, the WHO considered Omicron global risk to be very high. Omicron is highly divergent uh, variant with high number of mutations. And it is identified in multiple, multiple countries from November 2021. Symptoms of COVID-19. The known symptoms of COVID-19 include the cough, shortness of breath, difficulty in breathing, fever, chills, muscular body issues, vomiting or diarrhea, no, uh, new uh, loss of taste or smell. Uh, what is different between upper respiratory tract and COVID-19? Upper respiratory tract symptoms are similar to COVID-19, including fever, cough, sore throat, runny nose, muscle pain, and headache. However, COVID-19 might show lower respiratory symptoms such as chest tightness, pain behind the breastbone when coughing, wheezing when walking and talking, the body temperature rises and body feels cold. Um, are there is any swelling to upper respiratory tract? Influenza, uh, there is less swelling or in complication in cold, uh, no swelling of COVID-19. But COVID-19 produces permanent damage such as pulmonary fibrosis. COVID-19 patients may also have respiratory failure even after they have recovered because their lungs are damaged or some may have suffered permanent lung damage. Um, uh, actually, the upper respiratory tract we call is actually the flu, which broadly means that nasal cavity, sinuses, pharynx, throat, and vocal cord get infected by virus and sometimes bacteria. A common example of include flu, cold, and influenza. Uh, whereas upper respiratory can spread to droplet infection when you inhale do, uh, droplets of such in, uh, patients when cough or sneeze or speak. Diagnosis. The laboratory diagnosis of COVID-19 is serological, as includes ELISA, indirect fluorescent antibody test, but serological test for COVID is underdeveloped or controversy. The molecular testing is more effective, which include nucleic acid amplification test or uh, PCR. Uh, specimen include respiratory, sputum, so throat, so put, uh, swab, or no swab. We can also we can detect COVID-19 PCR based method, uh, RT-PCR-Q, but quantitative PCR ELISA, antibody isotoping in sub and microwave based method, cell culture, CRISPR immuno sensors. We can protect uh, from uh, the WHO holding step to protect or get vaccinated, wear a mask, maintain physical distance, ventilate indoors, and keep good hygiene, and so self isolate if you have symptoms. Uh, various vaccine platforms designed to train our immune system include types of component of viral vaccine, protein subunit, virus less particle, DNA based, RNA based, known applicating viral receptor, applicating viral receptor, and inactivated and live tenuated vaccine. 
वैक्सीन आर द बेस्ट वे टू ट्रेन ओवर इम्यून सिस्टम टू रिकॉगनाइज वायरस इवन पीसीज और वायरस कॉल एंटीजन वैन अ वैक्सीनेटेड पर्सन इज एक्सपोज टू सार्स कोविड द इम्यून सिस्टम विल रिकॉगनाइज द वायरल एंटीजन एंड स्प्रिंग इन टू एक्शन इन टू कीप दम हेल्थी डायग्नोस्टिक एंड ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ कोविड नाइनटीन डायग्नोस्टिक कंपेरिजन आर टी पी सी आर स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट इन्फेक्शन माइल्ड सिम्टम है कोल्ड मेडिकेशन ड्रिंकिंग फ्लूड एंड टेस्टिंग सीवियर जो है सिम्टम इंक्लूड ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसपोर्ट ट्रीटमेंट आई वी फ्लूड एंड ब्रीथिंग स्पोर्ट कोविड नाइनटीन एंड वर्क प्लेस वट इज वर्क प्लेस सेफ्टी एक्चुअली दर्क गुड वर्क प्रोसेस इन इंक्लूड इंक्रीज प्रोडक्टिविटी रिड्यूस एक्सीडेंट एंड वर्क रिड्यूस एपसिटीजन रिड्यूस इल हेल्थ एट वर्क हेल्थियर वर्क फोर्स सेफ वर्क फोर्स प्योर इंजरीज एंड बेटर हेल्थ Safety of worker include health regulation, compliance, personal protective equipment, hazard analysis and control, and training and education. Key principle of health and safety: Employer is responsible for maintaining a safe and healthy workplace. Employees should be involved in developing policies and programs, and it should implement best and most effective practices or policies to protect workers from hazards. Hierarchy of control. Uh, given by OSHA is include elimination or substitution, which is most effective measure. then engineering measure which require physical change the workplace administrative control in, uh, include work practices uh, requires worker or employer to do something personal protective equipment requires worker to wear something and personal protective equipment is least effective in the hierarchy of control covid-19 hazard risk and risk assessment a covid-19 secure workplace must have risk assessment carried out and consider hazard and risk a risk assessment is systematic method of looking at work activities considered what could go wrong and deciding on suitable control measures these control measures are decided to eliminate reduce or minimize the risk of loss damage or injury in the workplace a hazard is something that can cause harm a risk is the chance high or low that can hazard will actually cause something um, various types of hazard include chemical or dust hazard biological hazard which include insect communicable disease such as covid 19 safety hazards work um, organization hazard physical hazard ergonomic hazard first of all we can assess uh, assess areas to assess the hazard we can assess the hazard premises where they are how large are they toilets and well filled facilities and communal areas practices what is business and how it is conducted do you deal with public or any other external groups alongside your staff people who are they are they vulnerable or particularly at risk or who have assessed the needs how do they get to their place of work principle of um, risk assessment first of all we identify the hazard then decide who can be harmed and how evaluate the risk and decide on control measures record the finding and implement them review and update identification of hazard how they are exposed covid 19 is a hazard that can uh, uh, that is transmitted to people either by direct contact with infected person or by contact with contaminated objects and surface Uh, these microscopic can can be be transmitted people breathe, speak or sneeze. It can also be transmitted to someone touching a surface. The more people and places you come into contact, uh, the more likely you are exposed to the virus. कोविड नाइनटीन वाट आर लाइफली हुड सोर्स ऑफ इन्फेक्शन इन वर्क प्लेस मोस्टली एंट्रेंस एरिया डोर्स टॉयलेट्स वॉशिंग लिफ्ट एंड स्टेयर बेडरूम्स वार्ड्स क्लास रूम्स ऑफिस स्पेस किचन एंड अदर फूड प्रिपेशन एरियाज मीटिंग रूम्स हॉल्स passageways driving cabs crowded outdoor areas such as parks garden play areas and courtyard um, covid-19 hazard in work was created by task environment of people work task are you facing each other how many people do you come in contact do you come in contact with member of public uh, space working environment desk spacing and layout is there sufficient distance how many people are there in your area individual staff is able adjustment personal circumstances and pre existing health conditions or risk factors deciding who might be harmed any risk must assess how and who may be at risk of harm these most at risk of harm include those at uh, high risk extremely vulnerable those closed at moderate risk older workers those with poor health ethnic group significant data suggested black people are disproportionately affected by covid-19 and regional variation there is increased evidence of significant regional variation in the rate of infection then we evaluate the risk and decide on control measures having to identify the hazard employer must then decide how likely it is that harm will occur 
when we are possible they must eliminate the risk if it is not possible employer must do everything that is available it is not possible to completely eliminate the risk of you catching covid 19 but it is possible to eliminate the risk of infection in your employer workplace by working from home evaluate the risk and decide on control measures uh, some uh, where working from home is not possible employer can reduce the risk some example include applying strict hygiene social distancing reducing the number of people organizing workplace who are facing away from colleagues erecting barriers uh, organizing the task workplace uh, workload so that you can work from home where it is possible there is risk assessment matrix which is used in this there's consequences include negligible one second minor third moderate major four and catastrophic five and likelihood is one is rare two is unlikely three is possible four is likely and five is almost certain when we multiply the uh, consequences of likelihood uh, um, likelihood then we can get various um, uh, risk assessment matrix uh, to assess how seriously a risk the spread of covid-19 is an employer can should use this similar matrix this can do by using multiplying the consequence by likelihood in this case, uh, in the case may score uh, score above eight the risk is high and if Uh, there is 16 score above it there is extreme likelihood or extreme risk of covid-19 infection hierarchy of control they should use what is called hierarchy is used to rank how effective controls can be and order in which they should be used although it is often called a hierarchy they must consider all measures and how they effective and they are when applied together any controlled measure including personal protective equipment should be funded by organization it include elimination which is more effective physically move the hazard substitution replace the hazard engineering measures isolate worker from hazard administrative controls personal protective equipment which is least effective covid 19 hierarchy of control in covid 19 elimination uh, substitution um, uh, eliminate completely eliminate exposure to the hazard substitution replacing the hazard with non hazardous subject uh, engineering control um physically or mechanically control isolating the hazard administrative control personal protective equipment and community protective equipment personal protective equipment include equipment worn by person to protect themselves from real or potential hazards community protective equipment and equipment worn by person to prevent community spread from asymptomatic carrier of covid-19 this is a last line of defense and its effective depends on community use and their ability to do disinfection distancing and hygiene practice what is covid-19 secure this is a phase means that their work operations are safe as possible for employees when they return to work uh, there are five uh, points to implementing covid-19 secure work, working practices such as work from home carried out covid-19 risk assessment in consultation with worker and trade union maintain 2 meter social distance where as possible where people cannot 2 uh, meter apart manage transmission risk reinforcing cleaning uh, processes then hierarchy of control in covid-19 first is elimination it includes stay home work remotely and avoid public areas work on campus and avoid occupied or public areas avoid use of shared equipment and spaces virtual appointment meetings site visits training to use of web conferencing application video calls substitution by for example providing information online or by phone using technology such as skype to conduct meeting Engineering control in COVID-19 include get vaccinated with FDA approved COVID-19 vaccination, routine use of EPA registered disinfectant, barriers, partition, ropes to separate employees from public or building occupants, use of biosafety equipment when performing research, drive-through um, style partition and windows, hands-free trash receptacles, soap and towel dispensers, handles, push buttons and other high-touch points made of copper or coated with copper tape. SARS COVID has a low virus stability on copper uh, copper surfaces and such has proven that there are no viable virus after 4 hours on copper surfaces create isolated spaces work stations for employees or student uh, with immune deficiency administrative control in covid-19 social distancing required to maintain 6 feet distance use floor marking and other barriers coughing and sneeze at uh, at uh, procedures use your uh, using your sleeve is good way to cover your sneeze proper hand hygiene and control procedures this infection procedure for specific operation facilities or work areas in js to um, communicate social distances cough and sneeze employee health monitoring form formalizes the stay home sick or have had contact with person known to test positive for covid-19 employee training return to work healthy and safe to take for covid-19 please start checklist to enable consistency in your restart effort to fight interaction and screening procedure with customer public student or employees with the intent to minimize exposure to anyone of these groups shift change procedure 
ਹੈ ਪੀਪਲ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਹਾਫ ਟਾਈਮ ਔਰ ਸਟਰਗਲ ਦ ਵਰਕ ਆਰਸ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟਿੰਗ ਹਾਈ ਡੈਂਸਿਟੀ ਏਰੀਆਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਸਕ ਹਾਫ ਆਫ ਸਟਾਫ ਟੂ ਵਰਕ ਔਨ ਸਰਟੇਨ ਡੇਸ ਵਿਦ ਵਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਸੈਟਿੰਗ ਸਟੈਗਰ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਡੇਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਰਸ ਸੋ ਥੈਟ ਵਨ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਟੂ ਵਰਕ ਪਲੇਸ ਇਜ਼ ਓਕਿਪਾਈਡ ਔਨ ਐਨੀ ਡੇ ਔਰ ਪੋਰਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਡੇ ਸਟੈਗਰ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਵਰਕ ਬੋਟਲ ਨੈਕਸ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਐਂਟਰੈਂਸ ਪਰਸਨਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਟਿਵ ਇਕਵਿਪਮੈਂਟ ਕੋਵਿਡ-19 ਰਿਲੇਟਡ ਪਰਸਨਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਟਿਵ ਇਕਵਿਪਮੈਂਟ ਕਰੰਟਲੀ ਵਿਜ਼ ਫॉर ਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਟ ਕੇਅਰ ਪਰਸਨ ਅੰਡਰ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਸ਼ਨ ਟਰਾਂਸਪੋਰਟ ਆਈਸੋਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਰੂਮ ਐਂਟਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਕੋਵਿਡ-19 ਸਰਚ ਰਿਸਪਾਇਰੇਟਰੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਮੈਂਟਸ ਅਪਲਾਈ ਟੂ 올 ਇੰਪਲੋਈ ਹੂ ਵਿਸ਼ ਟੂ ਰਨ ਅ ਰਿਸਪਾਇਰੇਟਰ N95 ਰਿਸਪਾਇਰੇਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਕੇ ਐਂਡ 95 ਪਰਜੈਕਟ ਕ੍ਰਿਟੀਕਲ ਸਪਲਾਈ ਡੈਟ ਮਸਟ ਬੀ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵਡ ਫॉर ਹੈਲਥ ਕੇਅਰ ਵਰਕਰ ਫਰਸਟ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਡਰ ਐਂਡ ਦੋਸ ਪਰਫਾਰਮਿੰਗ ਹਾਈ ਰਿਸਕ ਟਾਸਕ ਇਨ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਫॉर ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਟੀ ਆਫ ਹੈਲਥ ਕੇਅਰ consult and own uh, manufacturers public uh, personal protective requirement for disinfected products prior to use community protective equipment face covering and mask uh, are to be worn a community effort to prevent asymptomatic uh, carriers of covid-19 from spreading the virus wear such face covering shall not be used in lieu of other clean hands with soap and water cover alcohol based hands and at least 60% of alcohol wearing n95 respirator the face mask with exhalation valve is not permitted as face covering such as by retain and mask are not effective in reducing the spread of covid-19 discard or wash uh, cloth face covering after each use don't wear a cloth face covering when it is damp or when wet from spit or mucus when removing the cloth face covering remove it from behind don't touch it from front some recent updates who has um, uh, in, uh, developed a policy preventing and mitigating covid-19 at work phase 19 may 2021 it, it include all workers should be protected from acquiring covid-19 in the course of work the joint who international labor organization policy a brief provides a summary of evidence of transmission of covid-19 in general workplace and overview of who and iolio recommendation for prevention and mitigation of covid-19 the of this policy include transmission of covid-19 that virus of covid-19 has has occurred a wide range of workplaces outside of health care in some sector there are clear trend in increase risk of transmission uh, for example sales worker cleaning and domestic worker education worker meat processing worker hospitality worker drivers transportation workers public safety worker construction worker and people in social service occupation workplace with physical person to person contact inadequate ventilation common eating areas shared work accommodation and travel are more likely to report covid-19 out- outbreak according to this uh, policy various factors affecting the spread of covid-19 in workplace include occupational factors uh, as already detail workers cleaning and domestic worker food preparation production worker restaurant hospitality worker drivers and transporters construction construction workers education worker agriculture workers various social demographic factors are also associated with occupational exposure to sars cov that include low income bracket female gender immigrant status increasing age being a visible minority non white non essential workers had higher covid-19 risk when compared to white essential workers high density work, work sites have shared accommodation and transport have caused exceptionally high rates of covid-19 work environment outbreaks have been identified as number of different work environment for example meat processing facilities migrant work camps fitness centers ships service related occupation and transport para occupational factors are also uh, important include extended time spent indoors in close proximity workplace risk assessment according to who the risk of workplace uh, exposure to covid-19 depends on probability of coming into close contact less than 1 meter or frequent contact with people who may be infected with covid-19 uh, it can divide it into various for low exposure risk which include jobs or uh, work tasks without frequent close contact with general public and other co-worker visitor clients or customer contractor and that do, don't require contact with people known to be suspected of being infected with covid-19 medium exposure risk according to this policy is jobs or work tasks with close frequent contact with general public co-worker visitor clients or customer contractor but don't require contact with people known to be suspected of being infected high exposure include jobs or tasks with high potential for close contact with people who are known or suspected of having covid-19 as well as contact with objects and surfaces possibly contact contaminated with virus according to this policy measure for all workplace universal measures for preventing covid-19 apply to all workplace and people at the workplace which include hand hygiene respiratory hygiene wearing a mask physical distancing um, uh, to keep distance at least 1 meter between people 
रिड्यूस डेंसिटी ऑफ पीपल इन द बिल्डिंग नो मोर देन वन परसेंट पर एवरी टेन स्क्र फीट स्क्र मीटर फिजिकल स्पेसिंग एटलीस्ट वन मीटर अपार्ट फ्रॉम वर्क स्टेशन रिड्यूस एंड मैनेज वर्क रिलेटेड ट्रेवल्स कैंसल और पोस्ट फॉर नॉन एसेंशियल ट्रेवल टू एरिया विद कम्युनिटी ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ कोविड नाइनटीन वर्कर रिटर्निंग फ्रॉम एरिया विद कोविड नाइनटीन ट्रांसमिशन अपरिंग शुड मीटर डेमसा फॉर सिम्टम फोर्टीन डेज the required environmental cleaning and disinfection selection of disinfectant should align with local authorities high touch uh, surface should be identified for priority disinfection this infectant solution must always be prepared and used according to manufacturer's instruction in door workplace routine application of disinfectant in environmental surfaces via spraying or fogging is generally not recommended in outdoor workplace there is currently insufficient evidence to support recommendation for large uh, large scale spacing of fumigation spraying for people is disinfectant is not recommended in this course risk communication training and there should be uh, providing poster videos and electronic message uh, to increase awareness of covid-19 among workers and promote safe individual practices at workplace management of people with covid-19 and their contact workers who are unwell or who develop symptoms consistent with covid should be urged to stay at home self isolate and contact a medical professional at local covid-19 thermal screening at workplace should be considered only in the context of combination of measures for prevention and control of covid-19 at workplace and along with risk communication standard operating procedure should be prepared to manage a person who becomes sick at the workplace and suspected of covid-19 specific measures for uh, workplace and jobs at medium risk enhance cleaning and inspection of object and surfaces that are touched regularly uh, maintaining the physical distance at least 1 meter cannot be seen all uh, relation to particular activity workplace should consider where they the activity needs to continue enhance the hand hygiene regular hand washing with soap and water and up provide personal protective equipment and training on its proper use for example mask with soap and disposable gowns and gloves increase ventilation rate to natural irrigation or artificial ventilation specific measures for workplace with high risk jobs at high risk assess the possibility of suspending the activity adherence to uh, hygiene before after contact with un, uh, with known or suspected case of covid-19 use of medical mask or disposable gown gloves and eye protection training of workers from uh, in infection control and measures routine cleaning of at risk workers Plan for gradual opening, transient to remote work and digital commerce as much as possible. Take stock of supplies needed for safe reopening. Ensure facilities are able to provide for universal precaution. Reconduct workers specific risk assessment before opening. Remote. Please train all workers after reopening protocol before reopening. Conduct a symptom survey of workers before reopening. Uh, national policy and programs for prevention of COVID-19 workplace. Uh, should also be uh, informed by people with the centered approach giving priority to life and health and anticipation and mitigation of risk workplace arrangement for cooperation between employers workers and their representatives workplace under control and safe and without risk and that workers should follow establish osha procedures the right of the workers to remove themselves from any situation they have is neighbor justification to believe such as imminent and serious danger to their life government oversight and enforcement of safety and health measures during covid-19 pandemic and there should also be institutional paid sick leave policies institution occupational health surveillance for covid-19 and passive surveillance to already established methods of data collection is most efficient method in this and following policy action point guide the establishment of occupational health surveillance for covid-19 for example local public health agencies involved in contact tracing should be supported by occupational health services criteria for determining work related should consider known as workplace known contact with uh, groups temporal association clustering of cases cases suspected of being work related should be uh, recorded in central confidential reporting system and employer should report to labor inspectorate to rates the covid-19 case characterizes work of injury there is a paper published which is a recently review article covid-19 prevention and control measure in workplace setting which is a recent rapid review and meta analysis according to this abstract workplace can be high risk environment for sars covid outbreak and subsequent community participation identifying understanding and implementing effective workplace sars covid infection control and ipc measure is critical the effectiveness of covid-19 measure implemented in global workplace through April 2021. Uh, various data sources, Medline, PubMed, and Copenhagen Library searched for this uh, systematic review, 
and measure of interest include surveillance measures, outbreak investigation, environmental adjustment, personal protective equipment, changes in work arrangements, and worker education. 61 studies have uh, identified from healthcare, nursing home, uh, marketplace, manufacturing, and office working include accounting over 280,000 employees based in Europe, Asia, and North America. Meta-analysis showed that combined IPC measures resulted in lower employee COVID-19 positivity rate than single measures such as asymptomatic PCR testing. Modeling studies showed that combination, for example, timely and widespread contact tracing and case isolation facilitating smaller worker cohorts and effective use of personal can reduce the workplace transmission according to this meta-analysis. Now this is the time for MCQs, MCQs 1. A 32-year male presented in outpatient department with complaints of headache, cough, difficulty in breathing, and recent loss of smell and taste for the last three days. And the patient also told about his travel history two weeks back. On chest X-ray examination, there is presence of pulmonary fibrosis. The most likely diagnosis of this adenovirus is is prep cancer because as in this scenario, you can see that there is presence of pulmonary fibrosis, which is most common after COVID-19, so crap the answer is beta. The World Health Organization SARS cov 2 as a public health concern and declared it, it is pandemic on March 11, 2020. Which of the following mode of transmission showed no evidence that people can catch COVID-19 infection through this route? Close contact with COVID-19 object, consumption of cooked food, respiratory droplets generated during sneezing, during puffing, or during talking. B. B. Yes, correct yes. answer is B because uh, COVID-19 is made mainly spread through respiratory droplets and, uh, and contact, and there is no evidence that COVID-19 spread through consumption of cooked food. MCQ3. The technical advisory group on SARS COVID virus evaluation in ABC country assess the specific mutation and combination of mutation alter the behavior of COVID-19 virus. The epidemiological situation showed that three distinct peaks in reported cases in ABC country despite preventive measures and vaccination. This variant is known as multiple variant association, rare variant association, single variant association, variant of concern or variant of interest. D. D. Yes, correct answer is D because variant of um, uh, concern is known when there is a decrease in preventive measure and vaccination despite vaccination and other. Whereas multiple variant association, rare variant association is actually the studies which, uh, which shows the Changes in mutation or studies and variant of interest is different from variant of concern. So the correct answer is Delta variant of concern. MCQ is four. A SARS COVID variant with genetic changes is suspected to affect virus characteristics, indicated that it may pose a future risk. The earliest documented sample distribution of variant of concern of recent Omicron variant is from South Africa, United Kingdom, India, Brazil, or multiple countries. E. Correct e. answer, yes. We, uh, recently, the Omicron is uh, identified for multiple countries in November 2021. A 35 year female presented in emergency with coughing difficulty in breathing and fever for the last three days. The patient also gave history of contact with COVID 19 positive patient. Which of the following tests the healthcare provider should document diagnosis of COVID 19? Culture, uh, direct fluorescent antibody test, ELISA, indirect act, and, or nucleic acid amplification test. E. Correct answer is E. PCR, uh, the, in identifying the um, COVID-19, the PCR is a benchmark test in diagnosis of COVID-19. So correct answer is E. MCQ 6. A coronavirus in 2019 caused by severe acute disparity distress in Rome was initially reported in December 29 as pneumonia with unknown etiology in Wuhan city of China. According to WHO, which of the following variant of COVID-19 is highly divergent variant with greater mutation and high risk at global level. Alpha, beta, delta, gamma, or omicron variant? E. e. Yes, correct answer is E. Omicron variant is very divergent variant with greater mutation and risk at global level from all other variants of COVID-19. A 38-year employer employed in ABC organization was exposed to COVID-19 and became COVID-19 positive. The most effective way to control COVID-19 hazard in this organization is uh, administrative control, elimination, engineering control, personal protective equipment, or substitution. B. B, elimination, because in hierarchy of control, the most effective way to control COVID-19 is elimination. 
एम सी क्यूज एट द लास्ट लाइन ऑफ डिफेंस इन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इन हर आर की ऑफ कंट्रोल टू डिप्लॉय अफेक्टिव कंट्रोल विद इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्क प्लेस और कम्युनिटी टू कंट्रोल अजट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल एलिमिनेशन एंड यूनियन कंट्रोल कम्युनिटी प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट और सब्सटीट्यूशन डेल्टा the in the um, in the last line of any hierarchy of control is the community protective equipment in any organization work place to control covid mcq is nine an abc organization had a recent outbreak of covid 19 infection in their employees to achieve a covid 19 secure workplace an abc uh, organization should carry out dash method of assessment diagnostic evaluative formative risk or summative assessment D Delta yes um, uh, in order to secure covid and secure workplace a abc organization should carry out the risk assessment method whereas other method evaluative formative summative is actually the uh, in management uh, which can carry during project management during and after in seeing implementation of project and in the covid 19 uh, any organization should carry out risk assessment of their employees MCQ is ten. An X Y Z organization assess the risk of COVID nineteen spread by using a risk assessment matrix method. Approximately half of the employees have risk assessment matrix score above sixteen, which should should which show the risk of COVID nineteen infection is extreme, high, low, moderate, or nil. A. Yes. Um, um, according to uh, risk assessment matrix, when the score of the risk assessment matrix is above sixteen, then the risk of COVID nineteen uh, infection in any organization is extreme. These are key of my MCQs references, and thank you. Thank you.